Hello all you new teacher foodies, it is Indy and today we are going to be cooking up the weirdest food in all of the Nancy Drew universe. It is this monstrosity. Hotchkiss here. I'd like baguette stuffed with mushroom and sauteed asparagus and a beef jerky salad with caramel vinaigrette. Now I'm going to be taking some liberties because one, I do not like mushrooms at all. I'm sorry. I just, I can't get over the texture. Uh, and two, who's gonna stop me? It's my kitchen. So come on, let's go. Now, before I break anything else, first we need to put back our hair. That way um, we don't bite into our asparagus sandwich and then all of a sudden taste a hair because honestly, disgusting. All right, now that we've got that done, let's go over the recipe. It is going to be a little different than what she specifically said, just because we really only got like four ingredients off of the titles. So just trust me, and I promise that this is going to turn out into something that is not only one edible, but it's gonna taste delicious. Now to make this salad, you're going to need arugula and a spring mix of lettuce, brown sugar, olive oil, a nice crisp green apple, and of course, the beef jerky. We're gonna start by cutting up the beef jerky into small bite-sized pieces. Cut up the green apple as thin as you can get it. This is a personal preference, but I think the thinner an apple in a salad, the better. It's easier to get on your fork. Now let's wash the, all the lettuce. We're gonna start by caramelizing that beef jerky. So I put a little bit of butter in a pan, dumping the beef jerky in, and then we're gonna sprinkle some brown sugar. I'm gonna put that on a medium to low heat and just let it simmer and get 100% combined. So we want all that sugar to melt so we can't see the crystals anymore. Now it's time to combine everything together to finish the salad. For the dressing, I've decided to use a little bit of an olive oil. Now a little does go a long way. And then if you squeeze a nice fresh lemon, that gives it a little bit of a zest. Mix it all up. Here is the famous uh, caramel and beef jerky salad. That, that can't be a real food item. So to kind of get the caramel effect, I caramelized the cut up beef jerky. Uh, apples just go really well with caramel. And then I thought the crunch, like the fresh crunch would add a little nice texture to the salad. And then last minute I decided to throw some lemon in and I think, oh, lemon and olive oil for the dressing. I think this is actually gonna be really good. All right, let's get a piece with all, all the items. I got beef jerky, it's actually kind of like hard to, press into, but here's lettuce, beef jerky, and apple. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I think it's missing something, and I'm not sure what. Mmm. Okay, I'm not fancy enough to have like the pink Himalayan salt, but I think a little bit like if you have one of those salt crutcher turnier things, <laughs> I think the sea salt would just really bring it all together. Mm. 10 out of 10, I actually might make this salad again would never think to caramelize beef jerky. So thank you, Professor Hotchkiss. This was a good one. <laughs> 